Hi everyone and welcome to the very first fireside chat with digital leaders hosted by Google Cloud. My name is Suki and today I have Sebastian Henschel, the CIO and CTO of Battlesman Music Group with me. Welcome Sebastian. Hello Suki, thank you for having me. Yeah, nice to have you here. To kick us off, um, I prepared a few questions which are more of a personal nature, so the audience gets to know you first. I'll just ask you five questions and uh, get a quick response. Yeah, fire away. Okay, great. Um, so my first question is San Francisco or New York? New York. Bitcoin or gold? Bitcoin. Soccer or tennis? Soccer. Your favorite music? And that would have to be... Uh... Metallica and Guns N' Roses that I grew up with, so wrong. <laughs> okay, interesting. And um, the first thing you'll do once the pandemic is over? I take my family to a nice, long vacation far away. Yeah, super nice. I'll do the same. <laughs> um, now let's uh, talk about the BMG and Google Cloud partnership. Um, to start, I'd like to understand what BMG does and what you guys are about. Sure. So BMG is a recorded music company and, and a music publisher, uh, first and foremost. Uh, we represent uh, the music rights of artists and songwriters, and we distribute their music, uh, we register their music, and we make sure they get paid whenever they get played. So if we think about once retail CD sale, what, what is the equivalent of streams uh, when artist has to do to get the same amount of money? An artist's song would have to be streamed about 1,500 to 2,000 times, depending on the platform, obviously. But as you can see, um, this has uh, various implications. So it, it only works in large numbers. Um, and of course, when it comes to monetization, the data volumes that we have to uh, process in order to account royalties back to the artists are sheerly enormous. The number of lines roughly that we um, that we use to account back to the artist that is really fully auditable and, and uh, has to be 100% accurate, uh, that's around 2 billion uh, lines of data. And unfortunately in the music industry, data is not perfect. Let's assume that in those 2 billion lines of data, only 0.01% of lines aren't fully allocatable or uniquely allocatable to, to a song, then uh, you would have to you know, manually review 200,000 lines of data. And, and that's, that's just way too much uh, to handle. Uh, and um, that's where you know, AI and machine learning really come into play. Wow, that, that's quite a lot. Um, and I guess now you mentioned AI and machine learning. Probably this is where Google Cloud came into the picture. Um, could you please explain what challenge exactly Google Cloud helped you solve? We initially thought the server is the server is the server. So uh, how can be cloud different? Uh, uh, but every other year, we found ourselves in a situation where our infrastructure simply uh, was, was cracking under the load of, of increasing, exponentially increasing data volumes. So moving to cloud became a necessity for us. And it, it uh, first and foremost, uh, helps us scale uh, much more easily and much more conveniently um, and uh, not with so much uh, blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, <laughs> And um, now taking it back to the artists, um, what exactly does it mean for the artists that you are now able to scale uh, more um, flexibly? So the way artists benefit from it is getting their um, royalties uh, quicker, more frequently, um, and being sure that we do everything uh, and now with much more muscle than before to uh, make sure that everything gets paid uh, back to them on, on a global basis. I love this example, Sebastian, because it shows very well that cloud is not only about IT, but it can also enable business value, and here it truly did. Could you explain how the productivity of your team increased um, once you started the cloud journey? I think we're able to uh, manage the application and infrastructure estate we have with, with fewer people. As I said, initially, we, we were heavily We've been heavily outsourced, um, and we're now um, growing a very small uh, cloud infrastructure team internally. But on a like-for-like -like basis, um, we we are able to run things more efficiently uh, than before by scaling up and down, by making uh, that technology more easily accessible, 
by not having to um, rebuild um, big farms of service uh, manually, uh, by just simply having that technology available. So that's the technology teams. For business teams, um, it really comes down to platforms like uh, BigQuery um, or your AI and machine learning uh, platforms. We make that accessible. And um, they operate on Google Cloud just as much as the technology team does. So it is highly relevant, not just for technology teams. Great. So you're really democratizing AI in your organization. And finally, what's next for BMG? First of all, we need to finish the cloud migration. We're in the last <laughs> innings of it. Um, and then we're really back to focusing on, um, on doubling down on making the complex, the complicated world of music rights uh, as, as simple and as transparent as possible to our clients via MyBMG and other uh, ways of engaging with our clients. We have a great technology platform. We have great people. We have great processes. Um, and, and that's what we've been able to build on a global scale. So, you know, it's definitely conceivable to think about other rights forms in music and beyond um, that we could um, start to manage uh, for, for clients. And I think that's a really exciting outlook. Thank you so much. Uh, it's very interesting to see this big vision. And I'm very excited to see how it will materialize in the future. We do too. Thank you for having me.